On this episode, I'm discussing rain barrels and how to ensure that they provide enough water pressure to your garden watering system. Hi everyone, this is Brian Traficanti from GardenMinutes.com and this is Easy Growing episode 23. On today's episode, we're talking about a pretty popular topic, rain barrels, and how to use them for your garden watering system. Now, generally when we discuss rain barrels with people, uh, there are three primary areas we cover. One being water cleanliness, two being the volume of water, the size of your barrel, and three, what I believe is the most important, is water pressure. The first one, cleanliness, is a pretty simple one. If you're collecting water from your rooftop or your gutters, uh, different debris like sticks and leaves and things like that can try to make their way into your barrel. If you have a filter on top of your barrel, usually like a mesh filter, that will prevent most of that from uh, getting in the barrel and possibly uh, preventing it from sending water out to where you're trying to get it to. The next is volume. Uh, you're going to want to have a barrel that's at least 50 gallons. Um, reason being is that for a larger garden area, you can use up 50 gallons pretty quickly. Also, if you're collecting from your roof and your gutters, the area of your roof can funnel over 50 gallons of water pretty quickly. Uh, so making sure you have a large enough reservoir to collect it is generally a good idea. And lastly is water pressure. Now generally when it comes to a rain barrel, we recommend that you put a one-third horsepower uh, sump pump inside the barrel in order to feed the water uh, to the rest of your garden, to feed the entire garden watering system. A typical garden watering system will need about 10 psi at minimum to uh, function um, to its full capacity. Um, now, if you don't use a sump pump, your next option is to work with uh, a height differential or gravity between your garden watering system and the top of the water in the rain barrel. So the way the math works out is that for every 2.31 feet of elevation, you add about one PSI, that's pounds per square inch. Now, if you need a bare minimum of 10, that means the top of your water level in relation to your garden irrigation system needs to be 23.1 feet higher to produce 10 psi. It's not a very easily achievable um, height to uh, put your rain barrel at, but there are different things you can do. Of course, if you have a taller house or you have the ability to build a taller uh, structure to hold your rain barrel, that will add elevation, of course. Um, if you use a taller rain barrel where the top of the water level will be higher, um, that makes it a little bit easier. You can also use the landscape of your yard to try to add a little bit more of that height difference that you need. Put your garden in a lower area in your yard and put your rain barrel in a higher area to build a structure on top of to elevate it even further. So generally, that's a pretty difficult thing for most people to do in order to generate that much PSI. So like I said earlier, a one-third horsepower sump pump inside of your rain barrel at you know, just about any height is totally fine is sufficient to provide water flow to your entire garden. So just a quick recap, three main things to look out for. Make sure that the water going into your barrel stays clean. Put some kind of filter screen over your barrel to keep leaves, debris, things like that out. Make sure you have a large enough barrel to supply enough water to your entire garden area. Generally 50 gallons or larger is what we go with. And when you have uh, the barrel itself, make sure you have enough water pressure, uh, 10 PSI at minimum. Uh, generally, household pressure gives you 40 to 50, so you can understand the relation in the difference between the two. So put a one-third horsepower sump pump inside of your rain barrel, or add at least 23.1 feet of height from the top of the water to your garden irrigation system to give it that minimum 10 PSI. All right, that's it for Easy Growing Episode 23. Thank you all so much for watching. We'll see you next time.